And we're rolling. Episode 45. Good morning on this Friday. Do, do you get excited for Fridays? Are you one of those people? It's like, oh, thank God it's Friday. That's why they have that uh, that stupid restaurant. Thank God it's Friday. It's cool. I do. I think I do so much more on Fridays because my friends get excited for Fridays. But I generally don't give a fuck. Although there is something about that. There's something about Mondays where you're just like, oh, go fuck yourself. Like that that is a fact. And I think it's, isn't it weird that we just pick days, days that are off, days that we start work, days that we go to sleep, times we go to sleep. And it's, it's really doesn't, it, it, it's just kind of become your, your way of life. It was set that way. This time was set this way by somebody else. And the, and the rest of the rest of America just kind of works that way. But, but anyways, it, it's very interesting. The, I went down a rabbit hole. I went down a rabbit hole of Marilyn Monroe, right? Cause Marilyn Monroe was the piece of ass at, at, uh, in, 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 uh, the time of her day. And it, it was interesting where it goes like she, she was busy. I mean, she was busy and I'm looking at a picture of her right now. She w- definitely was a piece and definitely was interesting, but she doesn't hold a candle to some of these chicks out there now. Oh my God. But she had the it factor, the it factor. Everybody wanted some, but I think she, I, I you know, like in the whole conspiracy of it all i think she got i think she got offed i think uh the kennedys killed her somebody killed her because she just she knew too much she slept with a lot of famous people so she has a lot of insight on on things and i mean there is a list you know like um uh so marilyn monroe was born uh her name is norma jean baker which is that's also a cool name but Marilyn Monroe's is definitely a uh, uh, smoother transition there. But uh, yeah, I mean, she you know she was uh, dating older guys at sixteen, you know, and there was there was talk that she she would just grab a random uh, teenager, and, and even when she was famous, be like, "You want to have sex?" There there was rumors. There was who knows if that really happened, but. Imagine that lucky dude was like, uh, what? Uh, y- yeah, Miss Monroe, I definitely want to have sex. And, you know, she would just bang these, uh, these, these, uh, teenage boys out. God bless them, lucky bastards. You know, but, but like, you know, here's kind of a small list. Like there's rumors that she, she dated, uh, and when I say dated, had sex, whatever. Charlie Chaplin Jr., right? The, the legend, legendary Charlie Chaplin, the son uh, in 1947, allegedly, allegedly was caught. Uh, uh, they got caught in the bed of the other brother, Sidney. And uh, so very interesting. And let's just roll down. I got a list here. Milton Burl, the comedian, Milton Burl supposedly had a giant, giant cack. And, uh, Marilyn Monroe was all of that, all over that. And uh, a lot of pictures of them together, you know, and there's a uh, rumor has it uh, that she uh, she dated a, uh, a female drama coach. And uh, that's just a rumor, though, because they spent a lot of time together. Who knows? Who knows? But but, uh, you know, she was a freak. Who knows? I, I, you know, the and the the uh, the drama teacher was named Natasha Light Lightus Lights, however they want to uh, uh, do that one. But. Although, and I see a picture of her, boy, she's she's homely as fuck. What are you doing with that one, Marilyn? You know, and then you, you got uh, a couple other guys. This guy named uh, Elia Kazan, who was a uh, Hollywood director. So, and, of course, the Kennedy brothers. So she dated the Kennedy brothers, which I believe played a role in her untimely death. Because... Uh, she, you know, she, there was rumors about the affair and it all came about when she was, when she had that famous happy birthday, Mr. President, that song that ultimately I think got her. And if you, you can look that up on YouTube and I think it, there, there's some edited versions that uh, people fuck up and everything, but there's other versions on YouTube. You can see 
and it is cringy, man. Whoa, is it cringy? Jesus. Like, you can tell. They're like, hey, get this bitch off the stage now. She's about to ruin a marriage. She's about to ruin political careers. She's about to. And she looks like she's on some downer of some sort. Who knows? She was definitely on something, in my opinion. But watch that. Go go on YouTube and watch uh, the Happy Birthday, Mr. President by uh, by Marilyn Monroe. It is cringy, man. And you can tell it's it's a no no. It's a complete no no. It's like one of those things where if you happen to have your you got a mistress at a uh, dinner party with your wife, and the mistress has to cut stands up and says. The mistress stands up and says, hey, I got a uh, a toast to make. And you're like, mm, no, no, you just sit there, please. Just sit there. <laughs> so, but yeah, so you got, and then Joe DiMaggio, jumping Joe DiMaggio, you know, uh, baseball great. She definitely dated Joe DiMaggio, and that's a fact. So, uh, but, you know, uh, that, that had some controversy. Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando and her. Now there was speculation because Marlon Brando played around with dudes too. That's a fact, and he admitted that late into his career. But Marlon Brando had some had some Hollywood male sex also, and uh, she was involved. They might there might have been a little little double action, Marilyn Monroe with two two big actors. You know she was a party, and let that be a lesson to you guys. She was fun. When I say fun, it's not like you got to have sex all the time, but I'm saying uh, she was fun to be around. She was also really pretty and had great attitudes, and she you know, she knew how to party. So it, it was definitely one of those things. Let's go down the list. Arthur Miller, if anyone knows who Arthur Miller is, uh, he was a playwright. And then you got a uh, good old Frank Sinatra, old Blue Eyes. You know, and that was a big one. That was a big one because, uh, uh, because, uh, well, because of everyone had girlfriends, you know, all the crooners, you know, she'd be part, she'd stay at the crooners house from time to time, you know, when she'd go back and forth to, forth to LA and everything. And, uh, you know, so she was dates and, and supposedly she was, in with old, old uh, Frankie Blue Eyes here um, while Sinatra proposed to his wife. And uh, so, or proposed to, I don't know, did they even get married? Juliet Prowse? I don't know. And then, then she dated Jerry Lewis, the comedian Jerry Lewis. So she was in show business. And that's what you call show business. When you're bouncing from star to star to star, and you're, you know, who's our modern day Marilyn Monroe? Who, who's our modern day Marilyn Monroe? Like who, people bounce from star to star, like a Jennifer Aniston, right? They're always, they're bouncing from star to star. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think as far as looks went, it was Anna Nicole Smith in her prime, right? She was supposed to be the new Marilyn Monroe was Anna Nicole Smith. I had a Playboy with Anna Nicole Smith in it. Man, she was banging. She was a big girl, too. I like them like that. So she was, you know, she had the curves on. Now, she got too fat at one point, which, but but still, still, Anna Nicole Smith. But, uh, yeah, so, she, you know, she was really in, in show business. You know, so that's uh, that's the it on the list I got here. But But God bless her. Why not? Have some fucking fun. But those things are dangerous when you're, you know, when all these guys are cheating on their uh, fiancés, their wives, their girlfriends with Marilyn Monroe, you start to, and especially back then, you know, it was taboo to even talk about cheating and things like that. Now, it was done, of course, of course, but uh, you had to keep it on the down low, and she started to become vocal, and she knew too much, especially with politicians. That's where it gets tricky. 
Because with politicians, you get the ultimate power, you get all that nice corrupt money, you get all that, you get the politician money and favors. But you know some shit, especially you're dating one of the Kennedys, or actually both the Kennedys. So that can get you into trouble. That can get you into a lot of trouble. But I bet you it was fun. You know, how do you, it's, it's hard to keep your mouth shut. Right. Like I know, I know there's a lot of women that keep their mouth shut. You know, I, I wonder if sometimes like that, that's, what's tricky too, is like, I've heard that said. And even I say that too, like with ex-girlfriends, it's like, man, they know some shit about me. You know, I, I, I hope they just shut up about stuff. Like even minor things, just shut up about it. But man, I, I, if you've dated politicians, that's creepy, especially nowadays where there's, there's social media and blogs and people writing books i mean there's so many uh women coming out with books about men they dated in in uh, in hollywood there's a lot of them guys and i think what you can discredit them because you go well it's just hearsay and but it's kind of a rat fucking thing to do to just to just do that you know to just write a book about and then you and then you're talking shit about this poor guy and he you know like some of these guys they got reputations in hollywood that's how they make a living and uh and you're talking shit about his penis size you're talking shit about whatever you know so it's like it, it, there's too much man and, and and these days being a rat is is encouraged it's encouraged to to be a stool pigeon to be a rat to be a a uh, loose lips, loose lips sink ships. Like I, maybe it's just where I came from, and 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 the age I grew up in. But yeah, we don't rat, guys. We don't rat on a fucking thing. And I see so much just flapping at the gums, so to speak, online. Just, just unleashing venom online you know uh uh airing out dirty laundry as they say just so much inside shit i've even seen it about me now i ignore it and but it's weird like sometimes you go damn i didn't even know this person hated me i had no idea <laughs> i had no fucking clue and all of a sudden they're writing a blog about me and you're just like whoa jesus you know, like I, I never think about you and all of a sudden you just, you, you wrote a blog, you know, but it's, I guess there's so much, there's so much nonsense. There's so much, uh, these days because of text and, and, and you know, uh, being able to write everything, people can just air their dirty laundry. And I think it's, I think it's bad form guys. I think if you got something to say, uh, give them a call, say it to their face, you know? Like, I'll see people airing out their dirty laundry about their own family. That's crazy. That's crazy. You'll be, uh, my dad treated me like this. You're like, holy shit. Like, uh, okay, wh why don't you tell your dad? You know? Why don't you tell your dad? And it's funny. It's, it's, it's like, so obvious. Now, I have a girl in mind. And, uh, and I bet it's, there's a bunch of you, but one in particular. She's constantly airing out her family dirty laundry on Facebook. And it's uh it's creepy. And is she doing it for likes? Is she doing it for attention? What's she doing it for? Because I got to be honest, I do read them. It's kind of compelling. <laughs> but she's talking shit about her dad and then I'm going I think your dad has a point though. And, and in my head I'm going Yeah, I think he has a point. You know? She's airing out dirty laundry about some of her her boyfriends that she dates and then and then dumps them and then dates them and then she you know she's covered in covered in tattoos all over her face and piercings and and everything which is all good do your thing I'm tatted I got piercings that's cool but I understand as a father you're like ah oh, baby what are you what are you doing that to your face for you know what I mean like my beautiful daughter what are you doing I imagine the father of course of course now i'm a i'm a tattoo artist so i under but i understand you know 
like your your little girl coming home with a giant face tattoo and fucking her tongue split. You know, you know how the people are splitting their tongues like lizards. I, I imagine as a father, you're like, no, 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 I can't have it. I can't have it. I get it. I get it, fathers. But and your daughter must have gone a little crazy because she's posting about it. Let me tell you something. I got I got uh, my first tattoo at 16 years old. And uh, and I had a nipple ring, too. And my dad was like, look, I, I don't like it. He busted my balls because I had earrings, you know. And he was busting my balls. And I get why he's busting my balls. I get it. And he goes, he goes, uh, then I got another tattoo. And then he finally goes, look, I need you to wait on those tattoos for me. Can you do that? Wait till you're a little older. And I go, you know what, Pop? Sure. So I waited till uh uh you know my twenties and then I then I got whatever I wanted to get. You know, I, I mean I never I never was that guy who was like, I want to get my whole body sleeved up. I don't care what it is. Nah, I just got random tattoos and shit like that, you know, throughout my years. Uh but I get it, fathers. I fucking get it. If I had a little girl, man, I don't want her getting all tatted. I just don't. You know, tattoos are a way of life these days. That's just the way it goes. But please leave your fucking neck and face, you know, alone. Leave it alone. Now, I know a lot of girls, they got they got some fucking neck tats and face tats, and you guys are beautiful. It works, but sometimes it doesn't work. It just doesn't, man. It's... it's uh, poor fathers you know but i guess you i reached an age where i start thinking about the fathers you know <laughs> like i love like uh uh i love strip clubs i do now when i say i love them i rarely go but i like the idea of them you know i, I just it, it, but i like pretty girls i like girls in bikinis i like girls sorry heterosexual male i like girls uh but i like how i have to apologize for that isn't that isn't that funny isn't that a weird, we're in a weird world where I go, sorry, sorry, not sorry. I like girls. People are like, yeah, of course you do, Ian. Of course you do. Jesus. But, um, oh, that skewed me. But yeah, it, it, it's definitely, but my point was is that I like going to strip clubs, but I definitely wouldn't want my daughter stripping. But there's millions and millions of strippers. So, you know, it, it's kind of a double-edged sword there. I like pretty girls. I like watching pretty girls dance, but uh, I don't want anybody I know doing it, <laughs> or anybody I uh, is in my family doing it. I don't want that. I didn't. I, I shouldn't say that I know because I know a lot of strippers uh, personally. But yeah, I mean, and same with same with porn and same with things like that. It's like uh, I don't want my family members doing it, but God bless it. God bless it. Why not? You know, sex is good. Fuck it. So it's it's interesting, but bringing it back to uh, old Marilyn, it's very Marilyn Monroe's life is very interesting, and she got all that. I mean, she was talented. Now you can go. She was a talented actress. Was she? Was she really? Her acting was garbage. Let's be honest. If we're talking about talent, like actually talent, but she had the it factor is what they call it, the it factor, which means you you want to look at her. You want to see her on the screen. You want her, you you know, every you know everywhere she looks, she looks good for the most part. Now back then they weren't the photographers weren't trying to fucking get you to look terrible like they do now. Photographers want to go, oh, uh, whatever. Kim Kardashian, look at she's a fat fuck, you know. And then that that gets clicks, that gets likes, you know. Marilyn Monroe, every picture looks, she looks gorgeous, and they wanted to, they wanted to paint her in that light. So I, I think Marilyn Monroe is definitely a, a interesting figure in American history. You know, like that was beauty, and the way she acted was beauty. You know, she was a she was it. Not even just be on the screen; people wanted her around. So I think there's something to take away from that too. Like, she wasn't as talented, but God bless, she was she was fun. Showed up on set on time. I imagine was ready to work, was ready to go. Probably didn't know her lines, couldn't remember shit. How much you want to bet? 
but nobody cared because she looked great on that screen and she was fun to be around. There's something to that, guys. Be fun to be around. Now, I got to tell myself that sometimes, too, because I'm like, ugh, this sucks. I want to fucking go home and go go drink beer and lay down with my dogs, be on this stupid set. But you got to remember, try to be fun to be around. People are paying you if you're being paid, you know. So, anyways, guys, happy Friday. I'm going to get out of here. Cheers.